Hello, welcome to the daily English news program on Azerbaijan television with the most important events of the day. I'm your host, Ilham Ahmadov. President Ilham Aliyev signed an executive order on a major overhaul of the highways in Yasamal district. Under the executive order, Azerbaijan Avtomobiliyollar State Agency was allocated 350,000 manats for this purpose. With another executive order of the head of state, the Azerbaijan Avtomobiliyollar State Agency was allocated 1 million manats for the major overhaul of Gendop, Khachmaz Yalama state border with the Russian Federation, Agalakh, Tashliyatakh, Kunashli Highway of Shabran district, connecting three settlements with a population of 4,000 people. The victory in the 44-day patriotic war has not only ensured the return of the IDPs to their native lands, but also created confidence that our compatriots from Western Azerbaijan will also return peacefully to their historical lands. These views were expressed at the extraordinary general meeting of the Western Azerbaijan community. It was noted that today Azerbaijan is living the richest period in the history of independent statehood. Continuing the policy of the great leader Hidar Aliyev, President, Supreme Commander in Chief Ilham Aliyev instilled the feeling in the people of Azerbaijan that they are the citizens of a strong and victorious state. The destruction of historical, religious and cultural monuments belonging to Azerbaijanis in Armenia was also deplored. France cannot digest Azerbaijan's victory. For a long time now, France, which has been providing Armenia with all kinds of diplomatic, economic and more recently military support, has been undermining the prospects of peace between Armenia and Azerbaijan with its sabotage. Elchin Amirbeyev, Azerbaijan's presidential assistant for special assignments, said in an interview with the French publication Le Monde. He noted that the reason for the deterioration of bilateral relations is the absolutely unfair, biased, pro-Armenian position of France on this issue. Elchin Amirbeyev stressed that attempts to use various international platforms such as the UN Security Council, the European Union and its institutions to promote openly anti-Azerbaijan initiatives have not only completely undermined the already dubious reputation of France as a possible mediator, but have also seriously damaged Baku's trust in the European Union itself, in which France plays a leading role. The interview emphasizes that France cannot digest the victory of Azerbaijan, which has restored historical justice and put an end to the 30-year Armenian occupation of Karabakh and its other regions. In the past year, 12 hydroelectric power stations were opened in Karabakh and eastern Zangezur. And next year, another 12 hydroelectric power stations will be put into operation. The implementation of the green energy strategy in the territories liberated from the occupation continues successfully. In 2023, 12 substations and hydroelectric power stations were commissioned in Karabakh and Eastern Zangezur. Within the framework of the Inter-Country Energy Corridor Project Azerbaijan Turkey Europe, the opening of the 330 kilovolt Jabrail Junction substation took place with the participation of President Ilham Aliyev. Last year, small hydroelectric power stations Chirak 1 with a capacity of 8.33 megawatts, Chirak 2 with a capacity of 3.6 megawatts, Gamushli with a capacity of 6.33 megawatts, Soyukh Bulak with a capacity of 5.3 and Maidan with a capacity of 3.4 megawatts were inaugurated after construction in Kalbajar district. Significant measures have been taken to supply electricity to Lachin district, where the 110 kilovolt Gorchu substation and the Lachin city hub substation have been put into operation. In addition, the opening of the reconstructed small hydroelectric power stations Mishni, with a capacity of 8.25 megawatts and 6 megawatts Al Hasli station, took place in Lachin. Commissioned with the participation of President Ilham Aliyev, the Jahangir Bayli hydroelectric power station with a capacity of 10.5 megawatts plays a significant role in the power supply of the district. In December, Agdam Hub substation for 110 kilovolts was inaugurated. Just four days after, the anti-terror measures carried out on September 19th and 20th, Khankendi and other territories were connected to the power grid of Azerbaijan. This year, the construction of nine more power plants began in the territories liberated from the occupation. Currently, the construction of the hydroelectric power plants that will produce environmentally friendly green energy continues in 12 areas in Karabakh and eastern Zangezur. On some of the plans, the work has already been completed. The stations are planned to be put into operation in 2024. You can get in touch with us by contacting Astave Khabar's hotline number 051-511-1956 through which you can report events you come across of, as well as share your suggestions and remarks. You can also contact us via our WhatsApp 
and Telegram accounts. That was all for the day. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye.